Thank you. Ali. And I saw there was a, a new member as well. Um, bonjour tout le monde. J'espère que vous m'entendez. J'espère que vous me voyez. Just realized my microphone is there. Maybe we can hear me. Bonjour tout le monde. Bonjour à tout le monde. Bonjour. Uh, Ali, new member. Yeah, excellent. Bonjour Ali. Uh, special hello to Ali. He's just become a member of my YouTube channel. So it's not a subscriber as such. It's a member. So Ali, you have uh, accept, access to my live, exclusive live lessons, which you can watch later as well. And they are exclusive because they are not. This is an open live which means that it is open to all. I'm still going to teach you a lesson, but when we do the exclusive live, these are very specific lessons. So hello to you all. I can see some members, the people that you see in green are already uh, members. That means they access uh, support guides, they access, uh, depending on which, um, which membership they go for, they access quizzes and things like that. Okay, Ada, Dana, bonjour de Alirak. Um, bonjour, Wall, uh, Wall, Ding, Ding, or Ling, Ding, Ding. <laughs> Et ça, bonjour, uh, Deepak, bonjour, Eman, uh, bonjour, Aida, uh, Tammy Keller is also a member. Uh, bonjour, Alexa, love from India, and uh, yeah, uh, love from England here to all of you uh, in India. Uh, bonjour, um, Uh, how do you say I'm grateful in French is reconnaissant. Je suis reconnaissant ou reconnaissante if you are a woman. Uh, I'm a new member to Eman. Yes, you're a new member of the uh, of the um, website because I've just seen your name. Uh, I've just done literally a live uh, exclusive for you uh, guys. Okay. Bonjour à tous. Today we are going to do two things. I am going to teach you a little bit about uh, irregular adjectives and I will answer any questions you may have uh, about French or French conjugation or French grammar or whatever. Paulus, bonjour des États-Unis. Hello to the United States. Bonjour à vous tous. Um, I really, truly hope uh, you are good. J'ai 33 ans, Luc Luc. Uh, bonjour de Genève. Uh, hello to Switzerland as well. Malaisie, Algeria. You are from all over Kenya. Oh my goodness. Je n'ai pas entendu mon nom, uh, Jonas. Bonjour, Jonas. Oh, Jonas. There you go. Uh, I've just shouted out your name. Okay. So, um, Mohamed, I know you want to speak to me. Tu dis, je voudrais uh, parler avec vous. Uh, I do not give my phone number. <laughs> Uh, the, so, but you can talk to us at support at Learn French with Alexa. I'll be very happy to talk to you through uh, by email with my team. Okay. Uh, bonjour à Londres. Matt Bailey, we are in London too. If you ever want to come and visit our studio, do come. Uh, find out. Again, ask support at learnfrenchwithalexa.com if you wanted to visit us in London. I'll be more than happy to meet you, Matt. Um, okay, um, Georgia, bonjour à la Géorgie, uh, bonjour tout le monde. This is what we are going to do and you are going to play with me. I am going to show you, here's my small screen, I'm going to show you some sentences and we are going to try to figure out what should be the version of these i uh, hope you can see i oh, know i shouldn't do that uh no i can't do that because then you can't see okay um uh, les philippines bonjour aux philippines bonjour à tout le monde uh, on va commencer so the reason for this lesson is uh, quite simple. We are going to learn how to transform an adjective um, in depending on the gender of the noun you're using. Now, what you must understand and listen very carefully is that in France, you need to take in consideration in France, in French, not France, French language. You need to take in consideration a few things. Okay. So, you must absolutely, uh, let's take uh, petit, 
Okay. Understand that an adjective can be transformed. Okay. It's not like in English where petit is small, regardless of the gender of the subject you are using, okay, or the noun you're attaching it to. For example, it is a small cat or the table is small. Now, small does not change in English. However, in French, it is going to change depending on the gender of cat. Is cat feminine, masculine? Table is table feminine, masculine. But not only that, is cat, are we using cats? Feminine, plural, or masculine, plural, or tables? Masculine, plural, feminine, plural. Everything is relevant, very, very relevant, okay? So here we go. When you use, for example, petit with a masculine noun, you leave it as it is. However, you use it with a feminine a noun, then you add an e to it. And a lot of the time, you have to transform it. If it doesn't have an e already, you must add the e in order to make it feminine, okay? And if it's plural, you add an s to this as well, okay? So what we are going to do, we are going to try, and you've got on the right-hand side here, the adjectives I'd like you to transform. These adjectives have been put into their masculine form. Heureux, rapide, doux, bref, fou et récent. They're all irregular adjectives, okay? Except for rapide. Rapide, I, I would say, is not. But you'll understand in a minute why. And what I want you to do is try to find what is the correct spelling that you need to put in that gaps, the gaps here, okay, these gaps here, okay, what is it, okay, according to the subject we are using. So you must be very careful here, okay. Please don't do anything, um, don't write anything here. I know that some of you are really, really eager, okay. Don't write anything because I want everybody to have a go and understand why it is the answer. Okay, so let's start with numéro un. Elles sont, okay, and then we want to transform this adjective and put it here, de te voir. Okay, so heureux means happy, okay, content, you can have said, but heureux means happy, okay, so Elles sont, they are happy to see you, to see you, okay? Heureuse de te voir. Now, what should be the correct spelling here of heureux? Here, we have it into its feminine, into its masculine, um, masculine form, but we want to write the right spelling. Now, remember, everything has to be transformed according to the gender uh, of the subject or the noun you are using. In this case, it is elle. Now, elle means they, okay. But elle is here not only feminine, okay, it is also plural which means that whatever adjective you are going to use, you have to transform that adjective into its feminine and plural form. Okay, so here we go, and I saw it early on. What is the right, uh, uh, the right s uh, spelling for this? Uh, cannot see clearly. The screen is blurred and very small. Judith, why, how, why? I don't know. On my side, can can you see the screen clearly? And a French listen, I say, speaking test, can you help me? Dylan, I don't know how I can help. Uh, Evie Hibbert, I have my French GCC speaking exam next week. Do you have any tips? Evie, please refer to, if you type my name, Alexa GCSE, I have a lot of of uh, a lot of videos uh, that I have created whereby I give you uh, tips of how to make your um, your answers to the highest level possible for GCSE French. So please have a look at that. Okay. Um, uh, je passerai les vinaigres. Okay, it's clear. Okay, maybe the quality of GT's video is only on. Yes. 
Thank you, Pistec. <laughs> okay, so here we go. <coughs> Elles sont, and I saw it written, heureux. Now, Ola Depo, look at the answer really carefully. Okay, so go for it. Elles sont, and I saw it early on, heureuses, heureuses, like that. Okay, so elles sont heureuses. And I know that some of you at the beginning have uh, heureuse. Absolutely, Avelyn, it is heureuse. Okay, elles sont heureuses de te voir. Heureuse is the right answer. Okay, so... Why is heureuse the right answer? So, so let's go back here. What we want is that, okay. Elles sont, they are, okay, they are happy, okay. We know that the masculine version is heureux with an X, okay. That is wrong here, okay, because what we've done, heureux, is simply here in its masculine and also plural form, but I'm explaining that in a minute. So, we need to agree that L is feminine. Okay, so I'm going to transform heureux into its feminine version, heureuse. But also, we have to take in consideration here that it's plural. So, I'm going to add an S. Can you see the connection here? Elles sont heureuses. There you go. We are agreeing two things here because I just said every single adjective in French has to be transformed depending on the gender and number of the noun you are using. In this case, it's a uh, it's a subject. Okay. So, elles sont heureuses. Okay. S E S. Okay. Bonjour à Toronto. Uh, Shekhar, you're uh, really brave to get up at 6.40 in order to watch a video, a live video of, of me. <laughs> it's very brave. Okay. Um, okay. So, if a word's end in the letter X, is it a masculine word? Bistec. Some adjectives end in X. And weirdly, the same as you have do, for example, uh, D-O-U-X, when it's transformed into its masculine and plural form, you keep the X. You do not add an S to it, okay? Except that when it this particular adjective is transformed into its feminine form, you drop the X, you add here, in this case, S-E, to make the feminine version of it. It's a very good question. Uh, Luke, Luke, you're in London too? Wimbledon, we're not far. We're in Woolwich here. Come and see us. Now, elles sont heureuses. Okay, so what I want to do is that I want to have a look here and you can watch that later on. The masculine version of happy is heureux. The feminine version of happy is heureuse. Okay, when you're going to transform it into its plural version, you add an S, heureuse. However, because it has an X already, weirdly, you can leave it like that. Ils sont heureux also is used for plural form. Okay. I'm very near Woolwich. Ali, there you go. We are in Woolwich. Look for us. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you, we've got quite a few people out there, you know, that are uh, from London. Come and see us. Let's have a coffee, all of you, together. So if a masculine word ends with X, with, with transform it with so to make it feminine. No, Avelyn, not necessarily. And this is why I'm using very unusual, uh, unusual uh, adjectives here. Okay. Shane, I'm in Woolwich too. What is happening? Are you all in Woolwich? Well, come and see us. <laughs> Remember, support at Learn French with Alexa if you want to uh, meet me. Uh, my share really is when I go to practice speaking with someone who is a francophone speaker, I freeze up completely. Then I'll try to answer this question uh, later. Okay, so here we go. We know now that heureux in the feminine version is heureuse. Okay, so what happens with an adjective that has an E already? Okay, have a look at the next sentence. Mes lapins sont très... 
And then rapide is the adjective we want to say. So what is the correct spelling for this particular adjective here? So Manisha says rapide with an S. Okay. Uh, Ridi, please listen. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening. What are you saying to me? Hi. Hello. Rapide, Lama, with an S. Okay. Rapide, Ali. Okay. With an S. Rapide. So, well done, you. So, what you've done, if the adjective already has an E, it's the same for feminine and masculine. So, what we are going to do, we are going to go here and we are going to write rapide. So, rapide means fast. Okay. It has an E already. So, you don't need to add an E to the feminine version because it has an E. When it is transformed into its plural, you add an S to either. Okay, rapide, rapide. In this case here, it is rapide with an S. Why is that? And well done for the people that have, you know, uh, mastered this one. Because we, the subject is mes lapins. Okay. Mes lapins just happen to be feminine, but you wouldn't know that you know, unless you knew that lapin in its singular form is le lapin. Okay, so mes lapins, masculine. But here we can see it is plural. Can you see that? It has mes, my, plural, possessive, adjective, plural. Um, so mes lapins, s. Okay, s, s. Mes lapins. Okay, and so we need to reflect that here. We don't need to move the e. We leave it as it is, but we must reflect that adjective with the noun you're using, okay? Because Nana, the lapin, is plural. Absolutely. Uh, do you have only fans? What's only fans? No. No, okay. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that means. But okay. Uh, the, uh, bec uh, because the lapin is plural. Absolutely. Okay. So, um, we have here established that if the adjective has an E already, you leave it as it is, regardless whether it's masculine or feminine. But you add an S in its plural form. Okay. Uh, Nana, don't answer that. I have answered that and I realized that. Okay. Uh, okay. I've just realized it. I had a dodgy thing to it. But I, <laughs> this is me, you know, uh, being 51 years old and very innocent. Okay. So, tu a la peau. Here we go. Tu a la peau. Now, l'eau, n'importe quoi, la question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm going to be told off by Liam afterwards, but uh, hey, if it add a bit of uh, spice into this life, why not? Now, tu a la peau. Do. Now, we want to transform do here. Okay, how do you transform this adjective according with the noun we are using? So what should it be? Dipika, douce. Luciana, douce. Ritika, tu as la peau douce. Kafi, tu as la peau douce. Ali, douce. Et Mario, Mayora, douce. Excellent, you get it. Well done. Now remember, I'm using adjectives that are irregular, which means that when transformed into its feminine version, they are very different. So here we go. Uh, let's carry on with my little list here. Okay. We have masculine version of soft. Okay. Because that's what it means is do. Okay. The feminine version is douce. Okay. However, if you want to transform them into um, the plural, then do, ils sont doux, or elles sont douces with an S. Okay. So, uh, well done, you guys, Tami and Tayung, Tayungi G. Sorry. If I mispronounce your name, uh, I'm sorry. Now, douce. So, the translation of that sentence is quite simple. Tu as, you have, la peau, the skin, Do, s, okay. And why is it do and not do? It's because we are reflecting the gender of the skin, la peau, into, uh, we are reflecting the adjective into 
the gender of la peau, more like. Okay, so here it is. It's reflected here. Tu as la peau douce. Okay, and you wouldn't say tu as la peau doux because la peau is not uh, masculine. Okay, uh, your screen is blurry. Is it though? You don't think so. Okay, Liam says no, so I, I trust Liam. Okay, um, so tu as la peau douce. Okay. Um, <laughs> I like that uh, Bistec is, is actually our <laughs> IT support. Did you see that? Thank you, Bistec. I, I like that. <laughs> Just hey, try to increase the quality of the video. A screen is fine on my side. I love that. We should have people like that. <laughs> Bistec, you are a star. A star. Uh, okay, so <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so the next one. So you see what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to show you that adjectives can be really irregular. Okay, very irregular. Okay, uh, so the next one is this one. Are you ready? And then once we finish this exercise, you can fire away your uh, questions. I will answer your questions, by the way. The next one is this one. Cette conférence était très... And then the adjective we want to use is bref. Bref meaning brief, short, okay? Brief, okay? So, cette conférence était très... Now, you need to identify where is the noun or what is the subject for this adjective, what gender it is, what number it is, okay? Now, Ritika Breve, Deepika Breve, Breve, uh, Kafi Breve, Luciana Breve, Munir Breve, Ali Breve. Now, you are very good because this is a tough one. Bref, in its, I'm going to put it here, Bref means Brief, okay, bref, okay. Now, what happens here is when transformed into its feminine version, it becomes brève, okay. Do you see how the spelling is different? When transformed into its plural version, you add an S and you do the same for bref, okay. And why is that? Because here there is no X, okay. There is no X. The X already tells you it is um, uh, a plural, okay. It tells you for the masculine that it's either a plural or it's a singular. You don't change it, okay. Uh, Bistec, tu es une étoile. I like how Luc Luc from Woolwich, no, it's Luc Luc from Wimbledon, I think, Luc Luc, just saying to Bistec, yeah, you're my star, man, yeah. Uh, please, how long it takes to learn French? Well, how long is a piece of, word of a string? <laughs> I'll try to answer some of the questions. Okay, so here we go. So we've got here la conférence, the conference, because it's feminine, cette gives it away. And the fact that the word conference has an E at the end, it is very likely that it is going to be feminine. And you need to transform bref into a feminine form, which is brev in this case, okay? Now, this is an interesting one, okay? Because in a minute, I'll show you how to transform them into adverbs as well, if I've got time, okay? So, brev, why is that? Because cette conference is feminine. And we have transformed this accordingly. There is no plural. I can't see a. Um, I can't see anything giving me uh, giving it away that it's plural. Can't see any s. And most of all, most of all, I cannot see this verb here in its plural form either. Now remember that everything, everything in French has to coincide. You know and up to the past participle you're using, up to the verb you're using, they will have to link, you know, they will have to be linked together. In this case, ete is was. So this conference was very short. That's what it means. Okay, so here we go. You're doing well. You're doing well. Okay, so here we go. Sorry, just uh, switching off my phone here. Brev. Okay, now the next one is tu as des idées, tu as des idées. And then the word, we, the adjective we want to transform is fou. Okay, so transform this adjective into what is appropriate here. 
Can you share a list of feminine and masculine words s'il vous plaît? Uh, Anshita, very good uh, point. Um, what we have at Learn French with Alexa, uh, weirdly at the moment, is uh, a 25% off <laughs> the course. And you know why I'm saying that? Because we cover extensively adjectives and agreements and list of things. So, by the way, this is my little promotion. I'm doing it now. If uh, you want to have, uh, if you want to have access to the course for less money, at the moment we are running a Black Friday uh, sale, and uh, because it's you on YouTube, it's not 20%. It's 25% off. I feel like I'm um, in the market, you know, selling my 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 things. Hi hey guys, okay, come and buy my apples. Come and buy my bananas. Okay, um, so. There you go, 25% off uh, with uh, the code YouTube25. Okay, you type that and everything is 20%, 25% off. Okay, and by the way, um, it expires in two days' time because that's it. That will be it. Uh, okay. Um, J'aimerais de la variété si possible. La leçon est un peu longue, tout est pareil. Oh! <laughs> J'adore. <coughs> Sorry. I love it uh, when people are actually telling you uh, what I should do. Uh, this is an open live, you know, and in a minute I will change it a bit. Sorry about that, uh, but... Uh, 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 okay, are we still talking about the quality of my things? Okay. Uh, Greenwich Market, get a stall, Alex, and I will see you on Sunday. Okay, okay, Ali, that's, that's a date. Uh, on Sunday, not a date, but that's, uh, yes, you just tell me when. Support at Learn French with Alexa, I can come and see you. I was at Greenwich Market, weirdly, on Saturday. Now, tu as des idées, and the word is folle. Folle, okay. Now, absolutely, folle is the right answer. And why is that? Okay, let's go back to my list here. And I'm going to erase this and carry on with the list. Now, fou is mad. Okay. The feminine of fou is folle. Folle. Okay. The plural, you add an S and fou is an S. Okay. Tu as des idées. Folle. And why is it folle here? Well, this is because folle here is comes from tu as what? This idée, which is feminine. And not only is it feminine, so I've added fol, okay? It is plural as well. And how do I say that? Because you have des idées. Okay, can you see the link? Okay, uh, French is very mathematical. If you have a mathematical mind, you will have no, no problem actually learning French because especially the conjugation is really complicated and but once you understand the pattern of things you know it clicks into place okay so um tu as les idées folles les transformations des adjectifs étaient variées uh, yes um i like i like uh, the use uh, low um are you a french vous êtes français the the français uh, again you know français ou française uh, this is a, a great adjective. I'm going to add it here. Look at that. So you have français, French, okay, français, okay. And the feminine of français is française, okay. And if you wanted to put it in a plural version, that's it. Français, française, okay. Française, okay. Please, can you translate those words to English too? I, oh, really? Okay, wait. You want me to translate? I thought I was doing that as I went along. Okay, give me a second. I'm finishing the exercise. Okay. Now, the next word is... Um, uh, Prenons relative simple et composé. Leah, I'd love to uh, do that, but I'm, I'm, I'm running out of time, but I will answer some of your questions. Here we go. Um, ce sont des problèmes assez. Now, what we want to transform is the word récent. Okay. Uh, ce sont des problèmes assez récents. Now, these are quite recent problems. So, how are you going to spell récent here? 
Euh, oh, thank you, pretty. <rire> OK. Now, Luciana, récente IS ou récent with an S, like Ali just said. Cushy, récente. Now, what you have to understand here again, it's what is the gender of problem? OK. Here, in this case, well, it's always actually problem. It's a masculine word. And it's not only masculine here. It has a plural, D. Some problems. Okay. And I know that I said that most words ending with E are, you know, feminine. In that case, uh, it's not the case. <laughs> so it's always the, the, the same. There is always an exception. Okay. So, récent. Just leave it like that because it's masculine. But what you need to add is S because it's plural as well. So, let's have a look at that. Récent. Okay, and the feminine version is quite simple. You add an E, okay, and you want the plural, récent et récente. Okay, so, oh, thank you, Mini Crush. Oh, I love your teaching. Uh, wonderful. I am from Kenya. Bonjour à Kenya. Bonjour à Kenya. Okay, so here we go. We have here irregular adjectives. And of course, um, the same applies for normal adjectives, such as petit, petite, récent, récente. Uh, you see, fort, fort. Okay. Now, to answer your question really quickly, um, heureux is happy, rapide is uh, rapid, fast, doux is soft, bref is short, Fou is mad. Française, French, récent is recent. Okay. Did I translate tu as des idées folles? I don't think I did here. So tu as des idées folles is you have mad ideas. There you go. Um, do you take online classes for French? Jesus Unity Group. Um, my uh, online classes are on the website. I repeat now, here's my second promotion of the day. If you go and you are a member of uh, Learn French with Alexa, the actual website, you access hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of video lessons, quizzes and support guides. And the, the interaction that we have would be live lessons like that, where, where I am live every two weeks. And so people have exclusive uh, links, they get into that, and then the lessons are, uh, are you know, uh, targeted to different levels. And I do different levels every two weeks. Okay, if you have any questions, or so we answer them at support at learnfrenchwithalexa.com. Okay. Um, Uh, donc, Pindy, Johannesburg, j'apprends depuis trois ans, ce n'est pas facile. But you, you seem to be doing quite well. Um, thank you so much for what you do in all your teaching. Lisa, you're kind and you're doing well, by the way. I know that you were in my life lesson just now before. Um, can learn French is... Alors, quick question, Lava. Do you think that someone can learn French in less than a year? Yes, I've seen it. I've seen it. I am uh, lucky enough in my job to meet uh, other YouTubers. And I am always very impressed by young people uh, being so dedicated to learning a language. And I spoke to someone, I can't remember uh, the, the name of his channel. He spoke to me and said, listen, I've learned French. He said that in French to me. I learned French in one year with your lesson, uh, with your lessons to start with. And I was so impressed because he said that um, he he followed me on YouTube and then he became so good that he went to other YouTubers that teach, you know, in French uh, and French only. And he said that uh, he practiced every day and uh, another Elisa morning with Elisa. They learn the language by doing the shadowing technique whereby they watch a show, you know, in uh, its Uh, original language. Let's have a look. That uh, imagine you want to learn German. You will watch this show in German. You will see the subtitle in German. You will mimic them and understand what is being said if you watch the subtitles in whatever language is. I think it's absolutely possible. But you know what? It takes dedication. It takes hours and hours and hours of practice every week. Uh, definitely. 
uh, it must have been a very proud moment for you, mum. Yes. No, I'm always, I'm always, when I meet, uh, when I meet people that uh, follow me on YouTube, I'm always proud of uh, my team um, and uh, proud of them uh, for being so dedicated, of course. I love Elisa. She's very good. She listens to a lot of English stuff online and also music. Ali, that's right. Elisa is very, very cool. Um, alors, Luciana, drôle. On utilise cet adjectif avant ou après le nom? Uh, C'est un drôle. Il est drôle. Uh, cette femme est drôle. C'est une drôle femme. C'est une femme drôle. Après. Afterwards. So you would use drôle after. But that's funny because you wouldn't necessarily use it. It's a very good question. Um, C'est un chat drôle. I don't know, how can a cat be funny? I don't know. Well, I suppose they can. Um, if you were to talk about a um, um, a série TV, if I, I say you would say, c'est une uh, série um, drôle. Yeah, so it's afterwards. C'est une, but it, um, it's funny because if you were to use drôle before, c'est une drôle de série. Sorry, drôle de série. It means completely something completely different, as in it's a bizarre. So c'est une drôle de something means bizarre rather than funny. Uh, if, you, uh, if you use it with. I love listening to you when walking my dogs. You, you're a great company. Alison, oh, thank you. <laughs> she talked to the dog as well. <laughs> thank you. Um, So, have we got any question? I know it's going fast. Uh, Êtes-vous française? Oui, je suis française. Uh, you're an idol. Idol or an idol. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm using some apps. Uh, Duolingo, French, you are really good teachers. Now, do you know when it comes to apps, I have no problem with the apps um, at all. And I think they're a very good uh, way to learning vocabulary. What the apps cannot do is uh, teach you grammar and conjugation in depth. So uh, I am completely pro uh, apps such as Duolingo and um, learning them alongside a teacher or learning them alongside courses or book is way better i would say that's the way to do it now uh will you be making any more video with songs cooking your family or regarding the holidays i love this really beverly <laughs> uh, yes um we did attempt to do that a few years ago and people were not too keen but i'm quite happy to share you know my life as you know <laughs> uh um so what uh, i'm going to 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 tell you uh, now is when when we have When we have these adjectives, and I go back here very quickly, and you wanted to transform them into um, adverbs, uh, and I think that would be, um, so we've got adjectives, transformation into adverbs. And you may say, well, what is an adverb, Alexa? An adverb is a describing of a verb. It's how you do that verb. For example, you can walk, but if you add slowly, that's the adverb. So you walk, how do you walk slowly? So if you wanted to, for example, say happily, happily, for example, well, what you do is you take the adjective in its feminine version, for example, heureuse, we know that it comes from heureux, heureuse, and all you need to add is ment, so heureusement, okay, here we go, so suddenly we have added the adverb, okay, and if we take, um, Here, if we take this, for example, you can do it uh, using, let's have a look. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So you add mont, I'm going to add, so uh, heureusement, okay? So you take the feminine version add mont, you have suddenly transformed your adjective into an adverb. Rapidement, so for example, il marche rapidement, okay? Now, Doucement, elle chante doucement, she sings softly, for example. Bref, it's different because it's a highly irregular adjective. Brièvement will be, uh, brièvement would be the adjective. And you would do the same for folle, follement. 
euh, je t'aime follement, I love you madly, for example, mad, folle. Uh, and récent is a highly regular, just like Briev is récemment. OK. So, please tell family members. You mean, I've got videos on family members. Watch those, they are very popular on YouTube, you know. And again, I'm going to do the last promotion of this video. If you want access to hundreds of videos that are all um, um, from A1 level to C2 level, we are talking about 40 modules of hundreds and hundreds of lessons, hundreds of hundreds of quizzes and support guides and exercises videos. They are all available on my website, Learn French. Dot go. <laughs> 25% off today. <laughs> It's just, I feel, I really feel like a merchant, you know, um, a seller in um, a salesperson in a, in a market or something. Anyway, um, alors, uh, Lia, I took French in high school for three years and I'm still good at counting months, days, time, etc. But I just can't get a grasp on the grammar to be able to break through the barrier, to be fluent, what to do. Uh, Leah, I don't think that you could expect to learn French in high school. And I'm going to be very blunt here because it's um, it's not, it, it's so limited. And especially if you are uh, targeting a lev uh, uh, an exam, I don't know what le uh, where you are in the world, but they are going to teach you in order to master the exam rather than to learn French. Okay, so what I would do um, if you were to want to be fluent and master grammar and conjugation um, is uh, for free, watch my videos on YouTube about uh, understanding grammar. So the first 55 videos, uh, which is called the French Essential on YouTube, will progress you, will take you from a complete beginner up to, um, I think, where I teach beyond um, the sentence of plus perfect or things like that. That will give you an idea of how um, to construct a sentence using complex tenses. And again, you want to take it further, go to the website, you know, I. I, I I'm not doing that to sell my things, but it's the best way to learn. As well as that, though, Leah, is once you have grasped and mastered uh, an understanding of the grammar and the conjugation in French, you, um, you can take on a private lesson or join a French group, listen to uh, French songs, listen to French radio, uh, watch French shows on Netflix or wherever, um, and uh, watch or listen listen to French books. You can listen to the French book by reading that book or even understand, uh, read a book that you know really well in English or your own language and then read it again in French. So you have an idea of context. Um, okay, si quelqu'un veut pratiquer le français avec moi, je suis là. I don't know your name because I can't see it. It's all very cryptic. So, uh, tomorrow is my exam. Help. Passé composé. Um, uh, eh, Harold Brin. I have covered the passé composé in great extent in my videos and it's free. So have a look at Alexa, uh, uh, passé composé, you know, um, there is, there are lessons, uh, it's part of the French essential, how to create a passé composé, you know, I can't go into details um, about that. Um, so. I love your channel. Um, any help of tips on how to differentiate masculine and feminine words in French, like maison, feminine, and jardin, masculine. I have, again, a video lesson on how to tell whether a word is masculine and feminine. Again, if you type, I'm assuming, feminine or masculine in French, uh, inside my YouTube channel. Yeah, search for it inside my YouTube channel. Write feminine, masculine. You will see that I have covered this subject in great uh, extent. But the bottom line is, and I'm going to say that extremely loosely, by the way, the bottom line is if a word ends in, um, if the word ends with an E, it is likely 75% of the time to be a feminine word, okay? And I know uh, that you're giving me maison and jardin, okay? If the word end with un, it's most likely going to be masculine. Now, on, 
as in Sion, as well as maison, all these words will be feminine. But I explained that uh, very clearly in the video. Um, uh, Julie, I'm really struggling to understand any French when spoken to me, yet I do know the words. Yeah, that's that's the problem. And Liam is right. Please follow all our dialogues videos on uh, again, on the channel, it's free. We cover dialogue videos um, um, whereby I, you listen to them and then I make you go through them three or four times during that videos and then eventually it becomes so much clearer. Um, in only, oh, royal family, your videos are superb and I developed an interest in learning the language only and only because of you. Oh, I did not pay this person to say that. I want you to know that there was no paying promotion here. I did not. Oh, that's, that's really, really sweet. Uh, how do you understand what preposition to use in the pronoun relative composé? Ah, uh, Leia, this is, um, uh, again, Lequel, duquel, I think we cover these, um, auquel, we cover this extreme difficult uh, grammatical point in the course. I can't do it now uh, because that will take me so long um, to, uh, to, to explain. All you have to know um, is uh, if, if you are using auquel, it means that whatever verb you're using will be uh, a. So, uh, par exemple, uh, du will be don. So, je parle, uh, le, le livre don, je parle, the book I'm talking about. So, if it's don, you would say le livre uh, duquel. Uh, no, you would say that. See, that's the problem. I can't explain it because I do not have a proper uh, lesson plan in front of me. So, I can't do that. Sorry. This is me starting to explain a very, very complicated grammatical point where I do not have a preparation for it. Okay, so I'm... Sorry, I pressed on outro. Can we press on main? Am I, am I main here? Okay. <laughs> uh, you're by far the best online teacher because of your personality and humor. There are lots of great teachers online um, by you. are oh, my favorite fame. Oh, Ali, I did not pay, pay Ali for that. And Ali, if you want to meet us, uh, not sure. Um, yes, meet me in Greenwich Market. Uh, was it Ali? I don't know. There's so many of you. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop here and you have been absolutely fantastic. Um, love to you all. I will definitely uh, look at your questions because the next live that will take place open will be in January and I will try to answer some of your questions, especially the complex relative pronouns, which, by the way, we cover at Learn French. Com. <laughs> oh, Yvette, COD and COE, again, I cover that in great length, either in my course, but also for free on YouTube. So look at my channel and type within the channel COE or indirect object pronoun, um, uh, call it IOP, I think, indirect object pronoun um, and DOP. If you type IOP and DOP, you will have them uh, on there. See you in the next private life. If you're a member and if you've got the green things, watch out for the link for the private life for sure. That's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt. Et puis, what can I say? Bisous, bisous. Salut.